So speaking of those pages for the pierces, I did go out and I bought something that could hold them. I bought the Kira Kira Tamamori. This is actually a, um, a book designed to use for the um, seals or stickers. Um, I moved the stickers out. I don't remember where I moved them to, but these are definitely designed to, for you to put stickers on. Because I did not know about the Tamagotchi um, Dream Notebook. I didn't know about that at the time. So I bought the cheapest thing I could find that still had the um, the rings in them. And this was pretty cheap. I just don't know if I want to go out and buy the official one. Because, I mean, this has been pretty good to me. Okay, I thought I'd show these really quick. It's not a whole lot to these. These honestly just hold those little um, rubber plugs. And they just they have little doors that they open. I didn't want to throw them away because they do look kind of nice. Okay, so I've got a couple of these. These are also the, um, the second wave of plugs. I've got a hat. Um, start with wings. I don't know what possessed them to do this. <laughs> um, heart with wings. At least they open and close really easily. Little crown. And I think a perfume, I think? I think it's a perfume bottle. And that's it for, like, the plugs, which there are, like, a billion trillion plugs. And the, on top of all that, I decided that I wanted, um, some custom plugs. So somebody on, uh, the Facebook group helped me out. I just think these are just so cute. These two especially look amazing. Actually, they all do. They all look really great with the yellow because the back of this is, like, the back of the coffret is pink, the front is yellow, and the yellow looks really good with purple. Bam. Done. Look adorable. Oh, I love them. So that's it pretty much with anything that affects gameplay. Um, the remaining accessories that I have are built to uh, create convenience. So let's see, where will I start? I have... I have this guy right here, which is meant to just help carry around the, um, anything I think from the K-Tai up, although anything from K-Tai down can also fit. I just think it was meant for the K-Tai because I think it was, had a little space for the antenna. Uh, I really love this design. I'm actually looking for more of these, but these are really hard to find now. I got in on this too late. So the next one here is called the Tomatoma Case, case Bag. Uh, this was released for the IDL series. That was back when they were pushing the Tomatomo a lot. I thought it was really cute just because it has a transparent front and um, it's an easy thing just to attach to like any bag that you may have. Um, I haven't used it yet because I haven't used my IDL yet, but I think the idea is a really solid one. There were a couple of designs for this. I think there was only like three total, but I like this one the best. Then recently for the um, For You, they did release this little guy. It's meant to, I guess, uh, just throw in here and then throw into your bag, which is another alternative. I actually like this. Um, I don't think it's so easy to actually see what's going on inside, but it's not, not that bad anyway. Because at least it offers protection for when you can't hang something off of your purse, you need to put something inside. I think it's a nice alternative. So they actually did come up with a, um, Mamechi Carabiner. It's funny enough, I've actually bought this because it can, uh, essentially connect to anything, but it looks like it's designed for the school, and oh, look at that, I just recently got a school. Uh, this isn't something... I'm just going to probably like attach this to my purse. I don't really need to attach this to my pants. But I thought it was a really cute idea. It's got a Mamechi on it with a Mamechi face. So with the um, Yume Pierce, it did come with this very lacy lanyard. I apparently have started collecting lanyards by mistake. I didn't in intend to, but now I do. I'm not a huge fan of this type. I'd much rather have like the clasp, the um, lobster claw. I'd much rather have that. And in fact, I do have a couple like that, but first, I did buy this one ages ago. I bought this one ages ago. This is the Tamagura. I'm not actually sure what that means, but uh, it is a Tamatomo strap back when they were pushing that. Uh, designed, of course, for the IDL. I thought it was really cute because it looked like a faux Louis Vuitton. I thought that looked really... I like that. I like the parody. I just think it looks really nice, but again, it has that um, cell phone strap type thing. I'm not a huge fan of that. Then I have stuff that came out in the US. Start with this. Uh, this is the Mamechi strap. Uh, see, it's got that claw, so now I can use it for keys or anything else I want to use it for. And there's this one that actually came in a lot. But I really love the guitar. I'm not a huge fan of the flames, but I really like the guitar, so I thought that looked really cute. This is uh, released at the same time as the Music Star. And I have one more Mamechi. I do have currently have a um, Kuchipachi one that I'm using right now. And I actually got this one opened in a lot, but the, um, the class was having some sort of like severe corrosion. Looked very strange. I was trying to save it, but I just didn't think I could. So I ended up throwing it away after a couple of years. And then speaking of things that came out with the Music Star, you did kind of see this earlier. 
But the um, I did get one of the bundles. And so this came with it. This little mechi with a trombone. Yes, with a trombone. Um, coochie pouchy with an accordion. And a mechi with a microphone. I almost kind of want to string these up. Just because they got those little holes. And so after the Tamagotchi peas, obviously, was the For You. And since the peas did so well for them, what they decided to do was to um, continue, I guess, in the Tamagotchi Tamago's footsteps and um, make faceplates to go along with their unit. So they released a lot of them, kind of in a collect them all kind of situation again, to varying degrees of success, I feel like. The, um, the more popular ones are the ones that were exclusive. I think I have one of those. So I'll just like start laying them out because there's a bunch and there's really nothing like too crazy about them. Cuteness is, is really what they are. And I got these when they came out. I believe there was a sale going on. So I got these for a really good price. Not like aftermarket pricing. Bleh, gross. And I got these at a point where I wasn't sure what color I was going to get. I'm stupid. So I take back what I said. I totally thought that there wasn't a white for you released. But there was. I totally forgot. Um, I, I guess I just wanted the um, anniversary edition. That was over a year ago. So I guess I just wanted the anniversary edition. I think I like the light pink. I thought that looked cute. So, uh, oops. I got it because I wanted it. Not because it was the only white one available. There we go. Oh yeah, so I, I got these because I wasn't sure um, what color I was going to get. And so I kind of thought I was going to get either the blue one or the um, the white one or the pink one. See, I wasn't really sure. So I picked up stuff that pretty much everything it had like like pink in it. I pretty much picked it up because I was pretty sure I was either going to get white or pink. And here's the um, yeah, here's the exclusive that I got, the um, Tamagotchi Deepa version. Yeah. And I guess they have color suggestions here in the corner, but I don't have a blue one, so I won't be using it with a blue one. So those are the like official ones. In addition to those, I also did take part in the um, 1996 thing, the time travel card. I guess I got those two as well. The thing that bugs me are the touch spot cards. These really bug me, if only because they're limited. That's really just why. Why are they limited? I bought this. Why do I only get two uses out of it? That is so amazingly money grubbing and this is not cheap. <laughs> so what I plan to do is like write on the back of them what username that I used because you can get infinite uses if you reset if you just keep using the same username in birthday I think. So that's something that just makes me so mad that they because it's not just these touch cards it's all their touch cards only have two uses in them and it's just just absolutely irritating because it makes pretty much re it makes reselling them so hard so hard. Because you can't reset them. Once you use them, they're gone. So that really sucks. I don't approve of that kind of practice. Okay, next are a couple of um, custom plates that I um, commissioned. There are, uh, I do have a couple more coming in just because this is really an addicting thing. Once I, this is honestly, I would say Facebook's fault. <laughs> I didn't actually think about this until I saw people doing this. And this is just so nice. These actually glow in the dark. So I thought these looked really nice. This is little bats. Uh, I requested this for Halloween. So this is like a Halloween faceplate. And then I love space. And this is such a pretty, pretty like milky color. So pretty. And then there's this one with more glow in the dark. And then I do have a couple more coming in. I do have this one though. The faux um, devil gotch thing going on. I really like it. And then there's the um, the crying letter. It's so well made. Oh, I can't even handle how well it's made. And then I have a couple of these keys. And that's pretty much it for the 4U. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as the peas, and they're a lot easier to get rid of because it's literally just aesthetics. Thank God. There's no content aside from this. There's no content. And even then, it's not the faceplates, it's the cards. So that's nice, at least. Only a couple things left, I promise. This is a really fast one. This one is the um, one of the Tamagotchi cases that I have. You saw more of these in the vintage cl uh, collection video. Um, this is one of my spares. I think I only have one spare. But these are definitely worth having. I've been stockpiling these for the past couple of years. And I think that these are a really, really nice addition to anybody's like vintage collection. Then I also have this phone. What is this phone? Well, this phone helps me um, 
transfer uh, data to um, any Tamagotchi with an IR port. That would be because this is an IR phone. IR phones are a little bit hard to come by, but I know there is a list online of compatible IR phones. So I tried to find the cheapest one I could find, and I did. It's a little bit beat up, worn, but it works just fine. This is the uh, IR port right here, so I just connect it right there, and boom, done. Um, I wanted to decorate it with stickers so that I would not forget. It's a really nice way, and it's very compact. I know that there are some like bigger versions that people are selling like um, preloaded, which is really nice. I, there wasn't available for me at the time. I got that quite a few years ago. And then to, I think, wrap things up, I think I already pretty much touched on it earlier, but um, custom things. I have a ton of those, but um, let's see. To start, I've got this really cute. Uh, there was a donut, Tamagotchi donut. Um, promotion going on for a while and somebody decided to just make a couple of um, their own Tamagotchi donuts and this is just really really cute and I just think of the strap just adds to it I'm really happy with this I thought it was really really cute and then here's just an Oyajichi donut charm I think he looks extremely appropriate in donut form and then in addition to the cases that are currently in use I do have a couple more like I had this one made to go over my um, my anniversary IDL it's just a, it's just a bunny with a black bow and then I had this one made to go over my white IDLE, just so that they can be twinsies. I bought this because I thought it was really fun looking. Um, it's not really as usable as I'd like it to be, but it is still really fun. And then this one, which I love, um, just little bare ears. It has room for a charm, and she even made a charm to go with it, a strap. And it's just made of like the prettiest pastel rainbow, so I thought it was really, really nice. Little bare ears. And I really love like the fluff on the outside. I think it's really nice. Then lastly, but not least, I've got this guy. Um, this is very similar to, I wanted something similar to this. And that's something that connects to your perch via the strap. And somebody was actually um, offering to make these. And so I jumped on board with that. I think the strap is just a little bit too long. Um, I might try to find an alternative, maybe try to make my own. This one's got like, yeah, I don't know. It's nice, it's also, um, but because it's also crocheted, it's also very stretchy. So that's another reason why I kind of wanted it to be shorter. I did not realize that at the time. I actually requested it to be this long. My bad. Um, but it's really nice, it's really soft. And it's just exactly what I needed, exactly what I wanted. In case I ever want to take something out. Yeah, very pleased. So, that's it for this nonsense. Um, I think in the next video I will be covering all of my odd pets. Like in sections. I'm sorry this one ended up being so long. Um, hopefully I'm going to cut it to be much shorter. If it is too long, I will probably cut it into two videos. Just because I underestimated just how much stuff I had. Okay, well uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!